Hey guys, this is Madhupa and welcome back to my channel Mad Queen Rules. So I guess uh, you all have already guessed from the uh, title where we are headed today. So yes, we are going to take a road trip from Bangalore to Uti. Uh, this is a long weekend. Firstly, Shubho uh, Nabavarsho to all my Bengali viewers. Uh, yeah, and uh, thought of, you know, beginning this uh, Bengali New Year with a trip. A road trip from Bangalore to Uti. So yeah, it's right now 4.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, we woke up, just brushed and got ready and we are waiting for our car to arrive. So yeah, uh, definitely stay tuned to my channel and also like and subscribe to my channel. So uh, you whatever details you require, uh, uh, for a road trip from Bangalore to Uti, I'll be sharing all the details in this vlog. And I plan to do like a series of vlog uh, for this trip. So yeah, we are uh, heading out today and we'll be there uh, uh, till Sunday. Sunday afternoon, we'll again start uh, back from Uti. So yeah, lots of exciting things to share. So stay tuned. <music> Hey guys, so we have already started. Uh, we started off a bit late because the car came in a, li came in a little late. Uh, but nevertheless, now we are traveling uh, through the city. And uh, right now uh, we are uh, at the petrol bunk, uh, getting some petrol for the car. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, what what's our next stop. Um, getting to see, uh, you know, these nice and lovely uh, dawn hues in the sky which you really don't get to see in Bangalore much because you wake up pretty late and then you just sit for work so yeah let's see what what the day has in store for us stay tuned bye bye so Mani has stepped down for some tea along with our driver and uh, yeah, I'm just sitting inside the cab, so I thought that I'll uh, I'll share, uh, you know, what are the two different routes that you can take uh, if you're traveling by uh, road from Bangalore to Uti. So you can take the one which we are taking, uh, which is uh, you know Bangalore, Mysore, uh, uh, and then uh, Bandipur, uh, Masinagudi, Uti, and uh, also you can take the other route, which is uh, Bangalore, and then uh, Dharmapuri, Krishnagiri. Uh, you know that region and then Salem, Kunur, Uti. So the latter would actually uh, take you a little longer. Uh, I think the kilometers is more for that. Uh, ours is uh, around 280-ish uh, kilometers. So we kind of chose this route because um, I think uh, you know <laughs> with like one, not one, like 10% hope of uh, uh, seeing, getting to see some animals when we are uh, passing through that Bandipur National Park. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. Uh, let's see if we get to see some animals and um, yeah, before that, uh, uh, you know, we'll stop somewhere for breakfast and uh, I'm going to show and let you know like what place we stop. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. breakfast uh, yeah just behind me you can see uh, Ramgad uh, hotel it's a vegetarian hotel and uh, yeah we are uh, planning to have some dosa idli vara something like that some south indian breakfast uh, yeah um, i know my face looks very sleepy because we woke up uh, i woke up actually at uh, 3:45 and uh, yeah i was actually sleeping in the car <laughs> so uh, yep Let's grab some breakfast. Hey guys, uh, so Mani and I have switched seats now. Mani is sitting behind. Mani, say hi. Okay, so uh, we actually crossed through Chennapatna quite some time back and uh, now we are heading through Mandya and I just saw a board uh, 
uh, which said that Mysore is around 37 kilometers away from this place and then uh, yeah, we'll be touch basing Mysore and then we'll be heading to Bandipur. So stay tuned for more updates and uh, yeah we are actually kind of enjoying uh, you know traveling through this highway. I, I always prefer road trips. Uh, even when we went to Munnar we did a road trip and that was amazing as well. So uh, I'll also leave the details of how I booked the car and everything so that you can also check it out. Yeah, I'll leave the We are yet to enter Mysore and uh, we've just stopped by the highway and I just wanted to show you guys how pretty it is. You might be hearing a lot of noise because the buses are honking. But look at this, this is so beautiful. The turquoise skies and it's green all around. Look at that way that's go that goes there. I literally want to go all the way, but can't. People are waiting. Can you guess what what is it like? What is getting cultivated here? If you can guess, just leave that in the comment section below, and I'll I'll let you know what's the answer to it. Hey guys, so uh, right now we are standing uh, again at the highway, uh, we just stopped uh, for tea and coffee. Uh, we are about to enter the uh, Bandipur, I mean not enter exactly but uh, we are gonna touch point on that Bandipur National Park. It's showing around 30 minutes from here. Mm, the day is getting hotter so we hope we can make it quick to Uti to escape from this heat, right? And um, yeah trivia time guys so uh, for the ones who do not know uh, this this particular uh, Bandipur forest right it is uh, spread across I'm sorry guys money just startled me uh, yeah it is spread across three different states and it is known in different names in different states actually so it is the same forest which is known as uh, Nagarhol and it is the same forest that is known as Mudumulai and Mudumulai is the part that is in Tamil Nadu. It is much closer to Uti. Uh, however, we will not go to Mudumulai because you actually need an entire day there. So yeah, we'll simply cro cross over Bandipur and uh, with the hope of seeing some deers. <laughs> okay guys, bye. So guys, uh, we finally went through Bandipur and we got to see some deer herd and we also got to see a peacock and uh, yeah, a couple of birds. <laughs> now uh, we are actually waiting in the queue uh, for the exit check post and from here again uh, you will have two directions to go. Uh, you can either take uh, the Masinaguri road but uh, if you are taking that uh, you should be aware that it has a total of 36 hairpin bends. So 
so yeah only if you're too confident then take that road otherwise uh, you can take the one which we are taking which is via Gudunur so yeah probably we'll be reaching Uti in, in a couple of hours and we'll see you there So just after we crossed the Mudumalai National Park, uh, there was this check post uh, where we had to get the state permit uh, and it costed us around 500 bucks along with some uh, car documents which I'll list uh, in the description box below. So after that, um, uh, as I already mentioned, we had taken the Gudlur uh, route and uh, we are still on our way to the hotel. So uh, in, in between we had actually stopped for lunch to grab some lunch and uh, I had some chapati and egg curry and Mani had some rice uh, and egg curry and uh, it started drizzling a little bit so the weather is amazing and right now we are uh, you know uh, going through these beautiful tea gardens surrounded like we feel completely surrounded with the lush greenery and yeah, I think every corner of the road is is amazing. It, it's got an amazing view, and I kind of feel, uh, you know, the same feeling which I had when we went to Munnar. So, yeah, probably uh, once I reach the hotel, I'll I'll show you, I'll show you guys, and I'll also be doing a different vlog on hotel uh, because today we'll be staying at a, like a normal place, but. Uh, uh, tomorrow we'll be shifting to another place uh, which is an airbnb that we booked so mm. i'll leave uh, all the details in the next video probably uh, which i make uh, uh, specific to the hotels so please do check that out as well